Hello everybody and welcome again to a Dr. Leria's Wall and today we are going to talk about Unreal Engine. In this case we are going to work with one scene using the baking lighting and also moving objects. And the question is, is it possible? Of course, using the volumetric light maps. As you have seen, this is a great technique that offers many possibilities and if you are interested, please keep watching this video tutorial. Like always, if you like this video tutorial, please give me a like, subscribe to this channel and let's go to the party! As I told you at the beginning, this is a really simple project, but also this is a really powerful technique. So now you can work with great quality projects using your light baking and also you can move objects around your thing. Now let's look at here with the detail lighting and we are using here a great light baking in every part of our thing. Okay, I want to show you also here, for example, in this room, I have placed here some movable objects in my thing, like this first. Look at this, we are using the movable and we have here this door. We talked about that in a previously video tutorial. We make a project using a door animation with a third person character that interacts with this box collider and opens our door. You have the link of this video tutorial. If you don't see it, I would recommend to do it because it's really easy and really great. So here we are using this door, okay, we got it immovable and what we want to do is using our baking lights and look at this, we are moving our door and our lighting is affecting to our movable object, okay, we're great and nice baking lightings and also using dynamic objects. And also I want to show you this chair, we place it here and let's move it. And look how the baking lighting is affecting to our movable chair. And now let's play and we are going to see how it's working with a third person character. Okay, let's move it here. And look while we are going to a toilet song. Our character is going darker. And now we go into the light again. And our character is affected by that illumination. Also I want to show you here in this room, look how it's working our lightings and how it's working our shadows. You need to keep in mind when you are working with the baking lighting, you have more performance and also more quality. Okay, now we have talked about our thing and the first parameter we need to talk is in world settings, you have the volume lighting method and we have it in volumetric light map. I think that the starting at version 4.25, this option is available. In the previous version, you used to work with sparse volume lighting samples, and this is great because it's one of the main options you can work with the volumetric light maps. I don't want to go deep inside technical details. If you want to know more, you can find it in Google, and also you have the Unreal Engine site. Basically, what you need to know is when you work with baking lights, you create a light matte surface that are working with your static meshes. And when you are using the volumetric light map method, these light maps are affecting also to your dynamic objects. And this is done creating like in a sphere grid in your thing, and it's like the resolution of your volumetric light map. I want to show you how it's working, so let's go here and visualize, and we check for volumetric light map. Look, there are thousands of spheres, and this is like the resolution I'm using for my light map. And of course, you can set this value. Okay, so let's go again to world settings and um, you have it here in volumetric light map and you got it here the volumetric light map detail cell size so like that this value is assigned using units if you use a lower value you have more density and more quality also but something that is important is that also this affect to your baggy line in time so in this case between these spheres the value that we have assigned in units in unreal is one also, we have the volumetric light map maximum memory megabytes. This is the amount of value for each light map brick data. By default, it's set it to 30, and I have set it to 50, and it's working really great. So, what you need to do is check your performance during your live baking, adjusting these two values, okay? In this case, I can say that I'm working close to the maximum value, and it's working really good. And you have also here the volumetric light map, spherical harmonic. I have set it to 0 
This parameter is important if you find some mistakes or if you find some areas where the shadows are passing. For example, this kind of light leaking in your dynamic object. So you can increase this value and you can avoid this kind of mistakes. And now something is really important. Our volumetric light map is also working with our light map importance volume. So as you know, in Unreal Engine, this actor decides where our lighting calculation will work. Now let's check it again with our visualize mode and volumetric light map. And look at this. This is the high detail grid for our light map. And also we have here the volumetric light map density volume. And using this actor, you can adjust more parameters for your light map using the allowed mid map range. And you can set two values, the minimum value and also the maximum value. So for example, if we place like 0, 0, we are using the higher density in every moment. And for example, if we use the default values 1 and 3, so like that we delete the highest level of density in the calculation. And this is useful because you can save memory and also reduce the time of your baggy lighting calculation. So here with these parameters I'm using the default values and it's working really great. I need to tell you also that I have been working with volumetric light maps using these dynamic objects and also working with the GPU light mass in the last version 4.26. And after the baking process, I have seen some mistakes in my dynamic objects. And also I can tell you that I try working with the higher values and higher quality. But I have not managed to make that these lighting errors disappear in my dynamic objects. And finally, in this project, I decided to use the Luos 1 GPU light mask and works really great. And now talking about the lighting, I'm using sunlight. For example, this one it's an HDRI backdrop and using a skylight inside and it's in a static mode okay and look at this this is our baggy light using our skylight this is really nice also I have placed it here one directional light but look at this I have it here in stationary this is because I want to cast shadows of my dynamic objects and also in this thing I'm using ray tracing shadows but of course in this case using the stationary lights you can use your traditional shadows but this is the main thing I can move my objects in my thing I have uh, great shadows and also my baggy light is working really great with these dynamic objects so let me show you again I place this chair for example here and see what a good lighting we are working Okay, and now also we are using here two point lights and this is because in this room for example I want to check how it's working with the colors and also with other type of lighting and of course we have them in stationary. I want to show you also how it's working these shadows and also how it's working our begging lighting with this door and we don't need to talk much more about lighting and what I want to show you is in these wall settings, these parameters and also I want to show you how it's working with the default parameters okay so let's make our light here again and now it's finished, it took like two minutes and now look at this here, this is not working well there is a reason for that our door is not receiving enough information from this baggy light calculation let me show you here the distance we have between our spheres is greater and this is because we have placed a higher value in our detail cell size so let's try again and we are going to try using a value like 10 so we are going to use 10 units between these spheres in our stream in this case it took 2 minutes more or less uh, look at this, the baggy light is ok but we have some mistakes here, this green color, it's like trespassing our floor. So this is about this grass texture. So now I want to show you again our visualize here, our volumetric light map. Okay. And now look at this, we have one sphere here, another one here. And for that this is making this a strange green gradient. So now we can do different things. For example, we can place one box with a neutral material. Okay. 
and of course we can try a lower value for our detail cell size so like that we can increase our density and also we can reduce that margin of error. In this case it has already taken like uh, 15 seconds more and now you can perfectly see how we have more density in our spheres and also it's moving slower but in general we have solved those errors that we were finding. Now look at this, working really better than before. Maybe we can try to fix these strange shadows. And for that, for example, you can use the spherical harmonic smoothing. So we need to play more and tweak these parameters. But in general terms, you are seeing how this final result is quite good. And it's something impressive, because like that we can work in at a very good performance, with a very good quality and moving objects around this thing. Well, and finally, I would like to show you the problem that I have encountered when using the latest official version of GPU Light Mass with dynamic objects. I need to tell you also that I'm working with higher values, trying to get most of the quality, okay? And in this case, I want to work also with a lower value with our detail cell size. And here you can check the real time, because I don't want to crash my computer, so let's try. Oops. And after testing those values, my computer has become too slow. And this is one of the problems I have seen, because with the Luos One GPU Light Mass, works really well. And in this case, using the new GPU Light Mass, it has been almost impossible. So now what I want to do is try a higher value in the detail cell size, like 10. And now it seems that it has worked well but as you can see, we have found some errors in our dynamic objects. And this is something quite strange, since as you have seen, the begging lighting of our steam is working really well. So I don't think it's due to the GPU light mass settings. I could be due to a bug or sound improvement that they have to implement in a future update. So I hope they fix it or somebody can give me a good solution. If you are used to work with the CPU light mapping, you have to know that it works perfectly. Well, we have already said that we were not talking about light mapping, but I need to tell you also that if you want to work with the new GPU light mass method of this version 4.26, you need a graphic card that fully supports ray tracing. I need to tell you also that I'm still working with the Luos One GPU light mass, and in this case, I'm using the new GPU light mass to preview my scene in real time. So you have already seen the potential of volumetric light mapping has. And this is not only for games, for example, if you are working in architectural visualization, now you can bake your lighting and also you can move objects around your thing. So I hope you like it and you learned something. If it's like that, please give me a like, subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in the next video tutorial. Bye bye!